Um, so I am being so this is called Christmas with Cliff. Once again, this video literally dropped like an hour ago. So um unfortunately I can't have closed captions on. There, there there's literally not. Maybe if I refresh, but I don't know. Sorry guys. Great start, balding white guy. I'm sure he's going to be have a lot of nice things to say. This is 46-year-old Clifford Burns, who 51 minutes prior to this moment drove up to his estranged wife's house in Warren County. Once he got there, he forced his way inside and attacked both his wife and his stepdaughter with a 17-inch tactical hunting knife. 22-year-old Megan Jenkins suffered serious injuries to her left arm but managed to survive. 42-year-old Patricia Burns wasn't so lucky. She was stabbed five times in the torso and pronounced dead the moment she arrived at the hospital. Seven minutes later, knife. Clifford Burns showed up at the Warren County Police Station to hand himself in. He handed himself in? Clifford, you gotta bear with me. I don't have my glasses on, all right? I know oh, my rights and everything. You don't you have to even read it. Just give me my charges. I'm pleading not guilty and I want to be put in the cell. I'm pleading yeah, not guilty. So I'll sign your name right there. Wait. Wait. Wait, so he turned himself in and he's pleading not guilty? How the fuck is that supposed to work? Okay. When this broad can do this on Christmas, fuck me in the ass like this, and when's my last straw, I'd rather live in prison. Over the next five hours, 13 minutes, and 42 seconds, Clifford Burns will achieve something quite remarkable, which is the fact he somehow manages to employ every single ego defense mechanism known in psychodynamic literature. He will essentially blame everyone and everything on his current situation apart from himself and in the process I, I shut love down when, critical parts of his own defense i love when later jim goes after the, the suspect it's so good jim going after the suspect is my favorite thing hey so do you know when a woman snaps you and keeps your kids away from you what it does to a man that you work and pay for your kids your whole fucking life Cliff had You're two daughters with the line. woman he just murdered, a 15 and 16 year old. One was out shopping during the attack, while the other witnessed the attack and called 911. Cliff will bring them up a lot to say how much he loves them, but it's important to note they were both absolutely terrified of him. He, he was literally abusive to everyone in his family, he? and his biological daughters were no exception. They hadn't seen him in over a year up to this date, and essentially wanted nothing to do with him. Then the Bacchus brothers rigged the charges Can't when the fucking why. guy goes over and shoots my old lady's house up and beats the fuck out of her, and he gets misdemeanors, you cocksuckers. Fuck you, mother. Rig the charges when their guy goes over and shoots. Motherfucker. He was talking about his kids 12 seconds ago, and now out of absolutely nowhere, going he's going off police. on whoever the Bacchus brothers are. So here's the context. Oh. Patricia was married to Cliff for 15 years. She left him in 2010 after suffering nonstop domestic abuse. Good. Two months later, she started dating a firefighter named Ted Bacchus. The two fell in love, but argued a lot. And one of the arguments led to Ted firing one round from his gun into the ceiling of Patricia's bedroom. Patricia then tried forcing him out of the house, at which point Ted pushed her into the kitchen counter and then onto the floor, causing her to hit the back of her head. Ted then left, and Patricia went to the emergency room where she was treated for bruising to the head and lower back. She reported the incident, and Ted pleaded guilty in exchange for six misdemeanors, which caused some controversy, as many thought the charges were too lenient, and there was speculation that he was given special treatment because he had two brothers in the local police force at the time. Probably. It's quite the story. No. No. You're telling me. You're telling me. Hold on. Hold on. You're telling me a police officer was abusing his position of power? I can't fucking believe this. I can't fucking... That's never happened. <laughs> Fuck you.
Well, I, you know, it sounded the way he the way he started that made it sound like you know they were they were having a good you know she she left this guy and then found another a better guy and and then you know as one does you get in an argument and you shoot a round off into the ceiling as one does me with my not firearm do that all the time it's normal behavior of course because that gun is keeping me safe and is definitely not a danger to have in my presence at all times and definitely doesn't make it weird in, in when you're heated to just like have that it's definitely not a, an issue it's fine and cliff will cling on to this story for dear life he will claim it's the reason he explodes into these uncontrollable rages at the mere thought of ted bacchus what the Yet fuck as is, this video what the plays fuck out you'll start noticing the true source of the animosity which as many of you will have already guessed is jealousy he will give himself away on this element multiple times without realizing. He'll also initiate this item orb? of subject matter in the most random and creative ways that at times will make what he's talking about virtually incomprehensible. What the hell was that? So we've had to create this notification for the more disorienting moments he brings it up. You know what happened up there. All misdemeanors, nine of them, when he shot the house up with an unregistered handgun. Eight, you know who Teddy Bacchus is? If I ever could get my hands on him, I'd fucking kill him. I'm a fucking man in every aspect, motherfucking fucking game. I gotta reframe myself because I'm really, I can't even take it no more. The two officers aren't the interrogators. They're just watching Cliff so he doesn't hurt himself or damage property. The actual interrogator will arrive shortly. <laughs> Wait, these aren't even the interviewers and he's just saying shit? <laughs> he just started, dude, this is... This is why we watch this shit. This is why we watch this shit. Do you guys remember the video? Do you guys remember the video? What was her name? It was, um, I don't know if I've posted this one yet, but I, I will at some point. It's, um, who is it? No, where is it? Is it gone? What the fuck? When did this one get here? Whatever. Uh, I. Th what was the one of the of the woman police officer who committed a murder and and got away with it for like a couple of years? Jennifer? No, this one. This is this girl that killed her parent or tried to kill her parents. Or it was on the second channel. Really. No, 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 it's all wrong. <laughs> mm, mm, anyway, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it was Stephanie something. Is it gone? What happened to Stephanie? Is it this one? No. I guess it's I guess it's taken out. Whatever, it's fine. Anyway, there was another one, I guess it's unlisted. Um of a basically the police found evidence against somebody. Kept interviewing them anyway and knew like already knew everything. And just th wait, they've done it multiple times. There's another one. Wait, wait, there's the other one. There's the other one. Hold on. Sorry, we're getting off topic, but um, this one as well. No, not John. It's um, it's this one. Dahlia Dipolito, like, gets recorded by an undercover cop hiring a hitman, and they like stage her husband's murder. Like, they make they they stage it to have her react and like interview her to have her react and then he walks in the room it's really it's really good anyway my favorite part is when this sort of shit happens where like 
Yeah, Chris Watts too. There's a lot of them on here where like the police have all this information already and they they this is why when you don't commit a crime hypothetically speaking this is for the in, in case this is in case the police get you into the, one of these rooms for a crime you didn't do, okay? Crime you didn't do. Don't fucking talk. You don't have to. You literally don't have to. There is zero obligation and they'll just they'll, they will literally fuck you over. They will use everything they get from you to fuck you over. Do not talk to them. It's funny to watch it play out when a criminal actually does this. I'm not telling you to do this nor commit crime, but if you are in a police interrogation by accident or by happenstance, do not talk to them. Because what you'll see in all of these videos, if you haven't seen them with us, you will watch somebody like Chris Watts talk out of his ass for like three days straight while they know for a fact that he wasn't faithful to his wife, all these other things. And then they will just use every single time he doubles down on his lie as evidence against them. And weirdly enough, every single time you talk in this recorded room, they will use all of this. They will use all of this. Despite this not being the interviewer, they will use every single one of these. Yeah. It's funny to watch people not know how the system works. Especially somebody like Cliff here. <laughs> you know what it is. I love the broad. She took everything from me. My lawyer called me today and said I'm going to jail for a violation and not paying child support. Based on the information of this violation, yeah, he I was love facing that somewhere bitch. between 3 to 15 days in jail. Paid his what? 250 a fucking week. I lost everything. My fucking business, all my vehicles, and my fucking house. I'm whittled up to a $600 apartment while this cunt runs around on my fucking money. His freelance business had been on the decline for the last five years, which is the actual reason for everything he just mentioned. The Bacchus brothers rigged his charges, and this is what I heard because I know everybody in the town. Okay. The, the man that built the fucking town hall told me he it's was so much funny knowing fun that these two just aren't even interviewers. You did that shit down in Albany, you still wouldn't be out of jail today. They would have fucked you up. This is the Wild West, man, and I'm a wild motherfucker, ain't I now? In the more common circumstance, when someone is facing. <laughs> me scary bah, me scary <laughs> discover fire fire <laughs> facing the inevitability of spending the next several decades the in hell? prison the more grandiose elements of their character tend to dissipate the nature of their situation rapidly sets in the feelings of anguish and despair leaving not much room for anything else why do so many people think that this stance is like intimidating why do so many people think this is like a thing where they're just like no it's not even it's not even this they're like they're squatted like they have to shit. They're not even just like, they're like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, what is that? You look like you're constipated. Me angry. Else. Least of all, the more extravagant wife, or perhaps me, take, fraudulent aspects take, to one's character. Man, Cliff take wife. He's very much an exception. He clings on to a particular aspect of his personality that we can only describe as Rambo Cliff. The second concept so regurgitated that it literally needs its own notification. The moniker is inspired by a well-known franchise centered around a highly capable special forces operator, and it was chosen to encapsulate Ooh. Cliff's varied attempts to appear tough and intimidating. This ranges from his deadly skills at unarmed <laughs> combat to his proficiency with a firearm and operational effectiveness in the mountainous regions of the United States. that Cliff never served a single day in the military. He also had no training whatsoever in Wait, combat sports serve. or martial arts, <laughs> unless you count the made-up variation of kung fu he demonstrates throughout this interrogation. Then by the end of the night, he would acquire approximately three and a half minutes of experience. I love this country, and it fucking did me wrong. Fucking wrong! I'm gonna tell you what yeah, you sound in love. 
Bring the Bacchus in, brother, and I'll fight them one on one with one fucking hand. I'll break both their fucking jaws right off. Them. I believe. Do you I believe, believe me, motherfucker? I can see you're very passionate. You want to see? There it is, white power. That's what I believe in. There it is, a beer belly. <laughs> there it is, a dad bod. That's how I got my wife. <laughs> what the hell was that? What was that? The Irish. You guys, you deal with weapons every day. I had AK-47s, AR-15s at my disposal. I could have made this a war. You want to know what my mindset was? Take her out, spray paint the building, let's play back his boys, and take him in the mountains. You would have had to drop a fucking platoon in for me. A platoon, brothers. I kept the war. I came here and did the right thing. I turned myself in. I'll go to prison. I just want to reiterate the thing that Jim said. Um, I had to mute part of it because I didn't know when he would stop saying racial slurs like the dickhead he is. Um, uh, Jim mentioned he doesn't, he hasn't served a single day in the military. Um, so. This guy's just like sitting here threatening two cops, just making sure he doesn't hurt himself. And he's having a fucking fight with this table because it's restraining his arm so he could punch the drywall behind him. Listen, you guys, I gave my children everything. It's a real person. Victoria fucking Secrets and they're fucking 15. Abercrombie, Nikes, American Eagle. Sure. What do you fucking think? I don't know the names. You know how fucked up what? I am? Nikes, I think. Victoria. Listen, you guys, I gave my children everything. Victoria fucking Secrets and they're fucking 15. Abercrombie, Nikes, American Eagle. Sure. What do you fucking think? I don't know the names. You know how fucked up. What is this capital capitalism trivia? What? Did this guy just say he gave his like fifteen year old Victoria's Secret. You think I don't know the names? <laughs> Why would? What does that have to do with anything? This guy's like, yeah, I spent money. O okay. You stabbed your ex-wife. I am right now, because I love my wife and I love my kids and I did right by that bitch. I met her in a strip club. Next thing I know, because I love my wife and I love my kids and I did right by that bitch. I met her. How fucked up I am right now, because I love my wife and I love my kids and I did right by that bitch. I met her in a strip club. In the attack, while the other witnessed injuries to her left arm but managed to survive, 42-year-old Patricia Burns wasn't so lucky. She was stabbed five times in the torso and pronounced dead the moment she arrived at the hospital. Ah, uh, yes, my love language is murder. I don't want to. The whole house lights up. Complex. If that dude was here, I'd try to crack him. Where, by revenge where and retaliation, we? not just by a singular moment of a party. Oh. Thing I know, this cocksucker. I'm, I'm traveling in this unit every day. Two-hour fucking commute. And he's fucking my. You guys, I gave my children everything. Victor Eagle. Sure. What do you fucking think? I don't. I did right by that bitch. I met her in a strip club. I did right by that bitch. Was that before or after the stabbing? Next thing I know, this cocksucker, I'm, I'm traveling in this unit every day. Two hour fucking commute, and he's fucking my wife. Hell of a choice in men, the fucking scumbags living above an apartment, paying 400 a fucking month to live above a bar room with a fucking beat up pickup truck. I make 100,000 a fucking year. I'm a pro tree climber. What the fuck is that? A pro tree climber is apparently another word for a tree surgeon. Coming home, fucking her in my bed. I had 10,000 of brand new furniture I gave the fucking cunt. What more do you want? How much do you want to kick the fucking thing? She bought it a cigarette out of my God, every not day. the rug. It's Christmas, my third Christmas alone, third fucking Thanksgiving. Well, now, motherfucker, it's time to party.
Cliff's future defense will go for a manslaughter charge relying on the notion that he had a psychotic break, that upon hearing of the arrest warrant, thought he would never see his daughters again because of it, no, at which moment he lost all control idiot. of his own judgment and decision-making, resulting in the terrible actions that followed. But he just spoke about grievances that stem back to over three years ago. He's giving away evidence to suggest suggests that the attack was influenced by revenge and retaliation, not just by a singular moment of madness stemming from his undying love as a father. You know, and you know what? You know what could have helped that manslaughter charge? You know what would have helped him so much against that man with that manslaughter idea that his defense wanted? Not fucking talking. Not literally giving them first degree intent going back three years. What the fuck? You know how difficult, for people that don't know, it is extremely difficult to get first degree murder to stick in court. The two ways to stick first degree murder in court is by physical evidence of intent, like a letter or a video. We watched the pretending to be crazy of the Florida Parkland shooter. Uh, there was a video of him saying what he was gonna do. This guy is literally telling them that he has three plus years uh, of angst against these people, basically saying that it built up to this point, which is 100% giving intent away. Awesome. Very smart. Listen, big fan. You lucky I'm in my right mind because I was going to have a shootout, which is. But I did it the right way. I handled it like a man. So thank you. Thank okay? you. No, that's right. If I'm pretty goddamn good. I could drop a 30-round mag and fucking... I don't even want to tell you the time. I'll pop the other one and take them again. I know what time it is. An unregistered fucking handgun in an apartment complex. If that dude was here, I'd try to crack him. Right? You know what time it is. And she said he wanted to marry her. Knew her for fucking six months. I had 15 years in her. And two beautiful children. Four and a half minutes explaining his unequivocal superiority to Ted Backus. Once the tirade is over, he finally calms down. I was in Hadley right on the border. Yep. And I bought the house on Luzon, we remodeling it. Mm -hmm. The whole house lights up. The designated criminal investigator will now enter the room to conduct the interrogation. The After timing seems minutes. almost perfect as Cliff appears to be compliant for the first time. So David, sir, nice to meet you. I'm sorry, I don't know your name. Burns Clifford R. Oh, nice to meet you, sir. Did he just do like the oh. business? You know, you guys, this is. I, mean, you know. I don't want to be disrespectful. You know what I'm saying? I'm sorry. I don't want to be disrespectful. What's on my mind is the Bacchus brothers and your fucking corrupt charges that were rigged. The interrogator, Detective Doug David, will come to have a rather complicated relationship with Burns Clifford R. From it's Doug's like perspective, threatened everybody it's in Christmas vicinity. Eve. He doesn't want to be sitting and in a police somebody. station going back and forth with a psycho murderer. He wants to get in, get the suspect's account of what happened, then get out. But unfortunately for him, Cliff has other plans for their Christmas Eve together. He went over and shot my wife's house up at the fucking... That means felonies across the board. Okay. Um, I'm just getting arriving here, so I'm not quite sure what transpired this evening and we'd like to just try to find out a little bit of what transpired yes, as a man's been pushed to the edge uh, he would what already fucking know. place calls you up today on christmas eve telling him you're putting a warrant out for his arrest if he didn't pay his child support just that fat call. fucking cunt bar next door in the fucking support collection unit this guy if is teddy backus is the love rival in cliff's comic book inspired perception of reality then barb from support collection is most definitely the arch nemesis and also our third topic Wait, of discussion that requires its own notification. Barb is Barb's somebody occupation else? occupation is handling child support payments, which includes following up with the debtors when they don't come through. Cliff genuinely appears to resent this woman on a cellular level. Her name alone will at times bring him to a place where he morphs into some type of primal being, sustained only through its unrelenting quest for murderous <laughs> revenge into some type of primal <laughs> being, sustained only through its unrelenting quest for murderous revenge against a collections administrator. It's a difficult thing to accurately explain, but you'll be given multiple visual examples later on in this video. I missed two payments. Okay. And, and then, what, what happened after that, sir? I don't know what happened. Fucking Barb. A lawyer called me up, said they went out for my arrest. Okay. A lawyer wouldn't do that, but okay. Possibly, um, again, I'm just... Walking in. What happened this evening, sir? 
I lost my life this evening over a fucking stripper and an alcoholic piece of shit. Oh, that's not wrong. You're, right. you're an idiot. The gun was unregistered. Every fucking bullet in the chamber was a fucking felony. You read Governor Cuomo's laws? D did you drive up here, sir, from your... Go fuck you, sir. How the fuck do you think I got here? Flew or walked? My car's right out in the <laughs> fucking parking lot. Are you fucking stupid? Cliff this is clearly aware that giving Holy away shit. crime scene information can oh be detrimental for his defense. Something he probably learned from the show <laughs> Criminal Minds, which he'll later state is the only thing he's able to watch on TV. And back his brothers would have loved to ran into that. Oh, he's probably going to watch she himself on TV. fucking hard on Chief fucking on Christmas Eve. Can't leave me to fuck alone. Admit it. What are the charges when you take an unregistered fucking handgun in an apartment complex and dislodge it? Look, I'll wipe that smirk off your fucking face, motherfucker. You ever yeah, laugh at me again? No, you're time. smiling like you think no, it's funny. I don't, sir. You I just smile. Work. What a weirdo. The interrogator sits through 110 seconds of Cliff's commentary, which is mostly a summary of how Cliff would comfortably beat him in a fist fight. Seconds. The lecture eventually reverts back to the topic of child support, and the interrogator will now attempt to establish a connection by finding common ground in the subject. <laughs> Somebody said Aaron Hotchner Kinney. <laughs> This guy stands Gideon. <laughs> She's putting a warrant out on Christmas Eve for me not for missing two payments. That's well, funny. Any consolation to you, sir? I've paid child support for years. Two hundred and fifty a week, though. Um, that's a thousand a month. That's like that's, you make ninety thousand a year. That, that's more than. That's I more pay. than you make. That, that's more How's than I make. Well, actually, you're right. It's more than I make too. But it's exactly. Uh, yeah. Boy, oh yeah, boy, I make, boy, I make he money. He fucking started a war. This fucking time. I missed two child I bank buddy. I, I bet you she wasn't even working today. I can tell you, I've been through this is this through, is uh, some difficult times myself. This is an alpha. <laughs> right? I, just, I, I, um, I know it's not an easy thing. To this do is what with, somebody thinks an alpha I lost everything needs to be. I'm definitely, I'm hurt. What do you mean you lost everything? The woman's Ooh. taken everything. I just, I can't even live anymore. I just, I'm done. I lost every fucking thing in my life I worked for. Don't you fucking get it? And when a man yeah, I'm sure it was for no reason, baby Cliff. Girls, you seem, you seem great. Pays every fucking thing for that. And here we get our first glimpse of what appears to be genuine sorrow. It partially consists of the thought of his daughters, but for the most part, revolves around financial woes and general self-pity. I went to court, I spent all my money, I hired the biggest lawyer going, and I got fucked, I don't get it. She made a mockery of me, man. She knew the guy six months, he beat the fuck out of him, shot the house up. What kind of a fucking woman can have a man like that in her life? Thousands of dollars, I worked for nothing, man. Isn't that literally him? Did didn't not, didn't he literally abuse his family? I worked too hard for my shit. Today was it, it was the breaking point. The potatoes so I stabbed, the what's the big deal, so I killed, killed my wife. It's really not a big chipper. deal. I don't know why you guys are coming down at me so bad. All I was was a piece of shit, and then she divorced me, and I owed the money for being a piece of shit, and then I killed them, and I don't understand. I don't understand. And this fucking table, this fucking table, I'm sick of it. Did you do this to Teddy Bacchus? I'm gonna tell you right now. What the Alright? Let me tell you something. Cliff primarily sits in silence My for 90 seconds, small. only interjecting at random moments to further express his hatred for the Bacchus brothers and Barb. The interrogator the once more attempts computer. to establish a connection. Oh wait, let me uh look at look at what happened over here. Collateral damage to this interrogation, bro. This this fucking computer's having a Yup, that's me. <laughs> You're probably wondering how I got here. I used to get these, um they'd mail me these things. Listen, I got everything, the coupons, all of it. Yeah. But and you know my Irish pride. His Irish pride was the reason he didn't make use of his child support coupons. And also the reason he doesn't accept welfare. I don't go to welfare. I'm never collecting. The fuck?
working man. And I fucking, fucking, I haven't worked in three weeks. You see the cows are just coming off my fucking hands? You're a hard working man. That's what I am. And I had a fucking stripper take everything and a guy fucking was an alcoholic too. They're both alcoholics. That's my fucking pride right there. Irish, brother. Ireland. I fucked up tonight. I ruined my whole fucking life over a fucking stripper. Who lives above my pride, a fucking... My pride of, of killing killing my ex-wife who I abused. I can borrow Ooh. 400 a week and drive a beat up truck. Well, it was it today. I lost everything, didn't I, buddy? He keeps calling her a stripper like it's negative, but he literally married her. So, like... Did, did he really think it was that negative? Hundred thousand in business equipment, thirty some thousand dollar motorcycle, the Z twenty eight out in the fucking parking lot. It's like when a guy asks a girl out and she's clearly not interested, and he's like, "Oh well, you you're ugly." <laughs> what a fucking ass! I'm a bum. What do I sell crack or something? Looks like a hard working man. That's right. That's what I am. I got fucked by the system. You know the deal? Your dick just shrank, you dude. Admit it. Some of your iris once in a while because the white man's a minority now in this world. How old are you? 53. 50 fucking three. You look pretty good for your age. But why are your eyes all bagged up? Having a couple shots tonight yourself? No. I'd be a fucking maze. Cliff insults the investigator's appearance some more before crying about his finances again. I need to see fucking days. I put my last one in my tank. It's any consolation, I can tell you I've been through child support. And Why is this guy going after this interrogator now? He's like, I right, mean, fuck you too. Not seeing your kids on holidays or seeing them at all. You look nice for your age. Also, um, you look like shit. <laughs> he was flirting? You know, the system sometimes. Oh, Irish pride. Right. Got it. Okay. Okay. All right. Now we're getting to the root of the divorce. Okay. All right. Okay. I don't know what the fuck happened. I'd like to fuck out. Do you think he made this whole situation happen just to get in the room with this interrogator? Do you know what, what you got there or who was there when you got there? I couldn't tell you Don't that. accept him? No, nah, don't accept him. It's a, you know. Well, you, uh, if you can just set it on the table, please. On my business card. Just, you asked me another question about when I got there. This guy's not even a human being. Don't. Please. All right. Don't ask me again. The investigator the takes that as the cue to end the interrogation. So he starts trying to collect Cliff's basic information for his intake process. Oh, he set the computer Cliff, back up. However, Let's go. He isn't done. He's got a lot more emotional baggage left on board and feels like right about now is a convenient time to offload the entire cargo. So every time he provides a piece of basic information, he follows up with an average of four and a half minutes of incessant rambling. I don't even fucking remember. I got a post office box at the post office. Mm -hmm. Can't imagine that. You guys crazy. don't understand. I couldn't live my fucking life every day to fucking accomplish. Cliff degrades his wife for 43 seconds, clarifies his superiority to Ted Backus for just over a minute, then further declares his unyielding hatred for Barb. He now asks the police officer to loosen his handcuffs. Can you loosen this up? I'm, my whole hand's cut up, you guys. It's a tiny little one little. My thing. whole hand is cut up. Wearing. Why, why would your hand be cut up, Cliff? That seems really wrong. That seems pretty fucked up of the police to cut up your hand with those handcuffs. I, they, seem, they seemed really tight when um, you just... Yeah, they, they seemed really tight when... Yeah. Yeah. My arm hurts. I don't remember where we are. Uh, Cliff's basic information now is a convenient yeah. time to offload the entire cargo. So every time he provides a piece of basic information, he follows up dry with an average of four Ow, and a half minutes knuckles. of incessant rambling. I don't even fucking remember. I got a my wrist hurts. Mm -hmm. Ooh, did, 
You guys don't tight. understand. I couldn't live my fucking life every day to fucking count. Was Cliff degrades his wife for 43 seconds, clarifies his superiority to asks the police officer to loosen his handcuffs. Can you loosen this up? I'm, my whole hand's cut up, you guys. Just a tiny little, one little click. That's the funniest. Th th that's some. That's some of the most entertaining shit of this whole thing. Is like some dude will at, will literally kill his wife and then bitch that his wrist hurts. Yeah, cry about it. Cry about it. Like I ain't going no. Nowhere, I'm done. I go to college. I'm okay. done, you guys. At least I got what I came here. I could have went in the fucking mountains. I fucking lost it. I don't even know how the fuck I got up here. I ain't got no gas in my fucking car. I'm down to no money. I got no fucking food. No, not the computer. I don't know computer. what you want me to do. And I got no. a lady violate me on fucking Christmas Eve. What's wrong with that? Hey, what are you going to ask me two fucking questions, motherfucker? You punk ass motherfucker. I got you a fucking break tonight, motherfucker. We appreciate it. I already told you. Do you, you that. fucking appreciate you think you're gonna run with me through the mountains, motherfucker? I love the graphics. You had to drop a baton in for me. We covered that, man, and we talked earlier about that, and we said thank you. You did the right thing. Fuck you. The Peter, the goes in the apartment complex and discharge. The computer is on. Computer's on a thread, dude. I'll like a fucking pretzel, both of you, if I had these cups on. I am a marshal. I'll put my fucking boot right up to your fucking side of your fucking head. What was that little twist, dude? What was that dance move? I'll put my fucking boot right up to your fucking guy's fucking head. Flip now. Come on. Spits on the wall for some reason. What? Come on. This boy's salivating. Wait, what the fuck? Kill me! Put a bullet in me right now. Put a fucking bullet in me. Let's blow my fucking head off right now. Take the nine out and put one in me. Just fucking end it. I should have pretend I had a gun out there. I thought about it all the way. I don't want to live no more. It's the money, 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 the money. It's all fucking money, ain't it, you motherfuckers? Didn't he say he could take the, the two Bacchus out. brothers on with one hand with his handcuff and now he's saying he needs to be off? You ever got a stop paycheck, motherfucker? You never felt it. You never knocked out a check. <laughs> yeah. You never knocked out a fucking check, both of you. Great, great commentary I interview. Yeah, good job. I did picket fucking fence and I got a shot I know, my ass right? I went to a strip club and married a stripper. Say that on your thing. Anyway, you about the wife you stabbed. The devil that plays, man. Look at back his newer six months and shot the fucking house up in New York. Then you're here fucking telling me. I want my fucking lawyer. Do you understand? Do I have to tell you in English? Get me a fucking lawyer. I don't care who the fuck you get. I'm not answering none of your fucking questions. I'm done. And I'm not signing none. Do you under fucking stand me, motherfucker? Who's your lawyer? Who you want? Paul Dwyer. That's your return? That's who you want? No, I really don't want him because I can't even fucking stand him. Cliff continues to ramble about everything he hates for... Yeah, I was about to... Yeah, you, you really think... Two hours too late, Cliff. Two hours too late to ask for your lawyer. What do you think is going to happen? They're going to be like, all right, now we'll start collecting evidence, Cliff. Now that your legal representative is here, after you've admitted to everything and had, a, and had 50 meltdowns in front of all of us and threatened everybody in the room, including the, the, the cops that had nothing to do with this situation, now we'll start keeping track of what you said. You got it, buddy for almost four minutes. Ignoring any questions about his basic info, the detective and police officer eventually start talking amongst themselves and literally walk out of the room as Cliff is mid-sentence. But they could take 250 a week out of your pocket. You can't be insane to make them fucking deals. <laughs> People leave. I'm throw up. I'm not feeling with you guys. Here. Good. You need a glass of water Good. or something, Cliff? Or? I haven't eaten in two fucking days. I'm self-employed. I will never ask anybody. I'm, I got Irish pride. I, I will die in my apartment. I'm man. asking you. You want me to get you a glass of water? Does that help if you? You could. Sure. She's a stripper. Don't you get it? I made the worst decision. Would sucking I go it up help, Cliff? I live in a fucking two hundred fifty thousand dollar house to a six hundred dollar crack apartment. And the fuck is Schenectady? What the fuck does that, that mean? That dude went there to kill her that night with the gun. What man brings a loaded handgun to a fucking house? 
He went to kill her. The fucking trash can, bro. What the fuck are we waiting for? Will you bring me to the fucking fucking lockup and put me in my jail cell so I can go to fucking sleep, do something? I fucked up, man. I, 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 I wish I did my military career and, and fucking got out and become a yeah, cop. You did it. You never did. I want not the fucking 200 to risk. Is anybody in this? Is anybody in here now? Did they fully leave the room? I'm pretty sure there, there's nobody in the room right now. My life and take a tree on over somebody's house, tie the fucking knot, cut them ranches, grab power line. Fuck that. I'm done with it. It's like it's all I can think about. It's all that's on my fucking mind is this stupid bitch. This bitch. It's every fucking day. They do nothing. 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 Why, nothing. Why nothing, is, nothing. What, nothing. what oh, happened fucker. to his arm? It's done now. Ain't it, motherfucker? Give me the package, brothers. Bring him in one on one. Just fuck him. Strip me down. I'll fight him naked. Bring both them coward motherfuckers. Str strip. Wait. Just fuck him. Give me the package, brothers. Bring him in one on one. Just fuck him. Strip me down. I'll fight him naked. Strip, strip me down. Let's wrestle. Give me, let him kiss me. <laughs> Bring both them coward I'll take him on. I'll kiss on the shit life. out of him. <laughs> you got ten grand. Everything's under the rug. When you're a hardworking slob and you're white, they gotta have at least one or two white guys that they fuck over to make what it. What the hell like are you talking court. about? Because I know I live like an outlaw. I'm a fucking hell's angel. I roll cross country to hell's angels. You wanna know? Hell's angels is. is, is. We're bad motherfuckers. How's Angels? Is, is, is. That fucking cunt over there to put a warrant out on fucking Christmas Eve and call my lawyer? She's out of her fucking mind. Christmas Eve tonight, where are you going? You're going home to your kids, aren't you? I'm an outlaw. That's why I turned myself into the police. After my first crime. Well, not first crime. Yeah, okay, outlaw, going to the mountains like you said you would. Outlaw. I ain't going home to fucking shit. I lost everything. What's the fucking difference if I sit in a one-room apartment with no food or you guys support me? I was going to sell everything, buy an on-off-road dirt bike, and go right up into the fucking bear slides and go about 50 miles into the Adirondack Mountains and build my cabin and my shelter. Ha and hypothetically. 30-30 and a bow and arrow. I'd survive like that for the rest of my life. Hypothetically speaking. Done. Never come out again. Never You're welcome. Maybe in five You're welcome years, for not doing that. Just to see how the kids were doing. I don't even know what to do anymore. I don't have to fucking die. I just oh, there's don't a guy even know here. what to do. I don't want to live. I thought about blowing my the computer own back in. Battle. Okay. Computer getting resurrected. Okay. Okay. Computer's back online. Let's go. Okay. Fucking hunting for brook child. Go back to the campsite at 10 in the morning, chopping eggs right over the fucking thing. That's a white man. Oh, I thought he said Irish, brother. Chopping you know eggs. Irish? Christmas Eve, and they're calling my lawyer for two payments, telling him there's what a is... warrant going out for his. What is this? <laughs> what is this? The rest, where does he live? I got a fucking apartment in a post office box because I don't want people bothering me anymore. There's a cheeky bum downstairs for me. You want to laugh? I have such a fucking kind heart. The cocksucker ain't he's got a dancey dance, bro. Every month, but he's barely living. Get a little tantrum. I bring him up in my apartment. I give this guy my food before I eat. <laughs> you guys never felt the recession. The only fucking show I can relate with on TV now is Criminal Minds. I watch it ten times a fucking day. Well, I, now Cliff you can definitely relate. Cliff the device of Criminal Minds and how he knows everything about the legal system because of it. The investigator once again just gets up and walks out as Cliff is mid-ramble. How I know everything about it, but I can't win in family court. I can't win with nothing. I got my dick dragged in the dirt. <laughs> he immediately stops rambling. I know everything about Criminal Minds. Talks for two, three hours without his lawyer. And turns himself in. Did he call my lawyer up? He offered you the, he offered you the phone to call him, didn't he? What? 
You know what to tell you the truth? Why do I even need to call him? Man, like I'm going, is there nothing he can do for me? Nope, you're done. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw up. This fucking fucking. Oh fucking no! Here goes the down. trash can. Here it comes. Support collection unit. Call my lawyer on Christmas Eve. I didn't even know they were working. And then she comes in today, another fucking holiday to fuck me on in the ass. That fucking no good fucking cunt. You tell her. If I ever knew her fucking face, I would have tore her fucking heart out. Oh no! The trash can's the going out. Fucking cunt. Motherfucking cunt. Clifford. Patricia's dead. Okay. What? What? She's dead. <laughs> Cunt. How, what? Patricia's dead. Okay. What? What? She's dead. Why? You stabbed her. Okay. I can't believe it. The person I mortally wounded died. God, why did you fucking do this? Oh my god! <laughs> Pop me. Put your gun my head, shoot me, please. No. Right, talk about that. Let's not hey, at least you put the trash can to the side. That was nice of him. I can't fucking chill out. That fucking cunt over in fucking Warren County. Even blamed her. God. He really is going like to all the, all the justifications. Kill her. And her whole fucking family, the motherfucking cunt. Money, 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 money. Fucking never bother anybody. Okay, Mr. My Krabs. All fucking day long. Mr. Pick Krabs. Mark, fucking TV can't have a conversation <laughs> with nobody. <laughs> Haven't <laughs> eaten two fucking days. Money, 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 I mean, what the fuck? I'm fucking starving. Fucking Christmas Eve. Being told I got a warrant out for my arrest. Warren County Sheriff. Well, here I am. I deliver myself. I lost everything. My business. At, I didn't even know how to cope in society. You delivered yourself after committing what murder. Do. What do you want me to but fucking okay. do? He took every fucking thing from me. Every fucking thing. Where's the Bacchus brothers? This guy's exhausting. Uh -oh. My whole house gets shot the fuck up with gunshots. Peter's shot. back up. Unreaded Let's go. fucking handgun. Every bullet in the fucking, fucking, fucking chamber. You know what that was? Oops, sorry. Was seven years. You ever read Guam, uh, Cuomo's gun laws? Everybody destroyed my life. Money, 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 money. You want my fucking money? Here, you want my money, asshole? <laughs> Alright, that was kind of funny. <laughs> I know you don't, because you <laughs> never so felt the recession, you cocksucker. You get your check every fucking week. Your kids mean anything to you? This guy's complaining that he has to pay alimony for a divorce he probably caused, and also that he's broke because he's self-employed. He... God, like, if I wasn't making money doing this shit, I wouldn't be doing this shit. You know what I mean? I didn't do this full time until I was making money. And if it went backwards, I'd probably find a way to make money. I know it's not that easy, but it sounds like he was pretty, pretty stuck in the mud about it. And pretty determined to just stay. Self but he makes 100K a year. Yep. Yep. 100K a year. Irish pride. <laughs> Robbing me blind, my 250k house, 100k a year, my alimony on Christmas Eve, blah, blah, blah. Me too, every fucking thing. I just answered your own question, every fucking thing. I pay 250 a week in fucking child support. I was one of them fucking statistic Irish guys that have to fuck one. So they fucked me in the ass. Used to be the best guy in the world to pick a fucking pussy up What does anywhere. that mean? Fucked up. I married a fucking full blown alcoholic and a stripper. Two hundred and fifty a fucking week. Two hundred fifty a week. If you make a hundred K a year. How many weeks are in a year? 52. So he pays $13,000. He pays 10% of his 
income, 13% of his income, my bad. Now, I'm gonna be honest. I think he might be lying. Don't tell him I said that, though. She's living like a fucking king. I, I, I can't even fucking live. Fucking guy can go in your fucking kid's house and shoot it up and walk away with misdemeanors. I got a piss. <laughs> Goes when another cop tells me to keep fucking... Apparently mathematics and fucked them, too. ...taking your house and taking every fucking thing you own. I work for my motorcycle. She tells me she's fucking owns half of it. Never paid a fucking dime for it. What, did she put the spikes on it? <laughs> what the hell? Nah, spikes on it and go up the tree. What is this guy talking about? Me, me, me. Me, 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 me. I pay all this money. Me, me, me. I have to, I have to pay for the divorce I caused. And it's making me have less money. And that's where all of my money's going because I pay $600 million a week in alimony and I only make two scraps and a pocket lint. Uh huh. Yeah, okay. Yeah, why does he keep saying she's living like a king? He literally killed her. We all saw how shitty his reaction to being told she died was, right? He was like, ah, ah. <laughs> I work for my motorcycle. She tells me she's fucking owns half of it. Never paid a fucking. Thank you for the wedding fund chat. What did she put the spikes on? Go up the fucking trees. That fucking cunt at the support collection unit. She's the one who did it all. That dirty fucking cunt. If I could ever get her in my hands, I'd cut her to fuck up her fucking. Why is he like? What is this? Is this a little pee pee dance? I What's he doing right now? You got a you got a piss cliff. How can women be so rotten? And fucking ruthless. You married, bro? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How's it going? <laughs> nice. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Let's go. <laughs> it's like, excellent. <laughs> I was set up to fail. They moved the Kleenex. Look, look. <laughs> look at what he does. Spills the water, wipes it up, moves the clean. <laughs> the computer's off again. I can do it. Do it, you know. No, I just don't even know what to fucking say. What am I supposed to keep paying? I watch her build my fucking dream with another man. Fuck all that. I can't run from my fucking problems, man. I face them head on. That's why I know I'm a man. Clearly not. Cliff was transferred to the Warren County Jail soon after this moment. He spent nine months hatching up a defense, and his initial plan, as we know, was to go for a manslaughter charge by claiming profound loss of self-control. He even claimed the knife used to kill Patricia was taken from her own kitchen during some type of struggle. The state then provided witness testimony that showed he arrived at the house in full camouflage brandishing a large weapon. They also played the segments from his interrogation displaying his well-established hatred for the victim, along with the moment he vowed to escape from prison for the sole purpose of cutting up Barb into little pieces. It's time. He pleaded guilty to <laughs> murder soon fuck? after. What On September weirdo. 5th, 2014, Clifford Burns was sentenced to life in prison with the possibility of parole after 23 years. He is currently housed at the Maximum Security Penitentiary in There's Clinton, no New York. Way. There's no way he's going to get out in parole. They're just going to play that entire interrogation again. He literally threatened multiple people that weren't the ones that were killed. There's no, like, absolutely no way do I expect parole. No. 
Wow. Well, um, that was nice and refreshing. We haven't done one of those in a long time.